Well, hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Come Deliverance with me, Varex and Teresa, and Tinker. Hi Tinker, how you doing? Um, we're looking for... Arigold, which is in Area C. Which is kind of where we are, I suppose a little bit further this way. And I am a lot of luck, am I, really? There's this dude over here, which I might have a go at killing, because I just saved, so why not? You're not having a great lot of luck in terms of finding any marigold. But I know for well the time is not passing. Steady, Tinker, steady, steady. Let's see if we can get a backstab on this dude. Thank you for getting in the way, appreciate it. Don't do it. Not yet. Let's see if this can... Oh, god damn it. Alright, second... Let's get him. Okay, that was a good shot. Ow. Is he dead? Don't know why I leveled up there. Okay, just stun him a little bit. Mercy! No. Couldn't even see you. Shot you dead. Okay, good. Alright, so that's one less thing to deal with and worry about. A cumin bow, I could maybe use that. But it'll be, um too good, won't it, in terms of, like, it'll be too high level for us. Um, might as well give this... Oh, yeah, silver ring, that's good. I don't think we can re really use anything else, can we? I wish it would tell me now, rather than when I put it into my inventory. I've tried to use this padded coif. It's just not gonna happen, is it? I can have the festive dress on. But, uh, no, I can wear that. But, makes me slightly more charismatic. Okay, why not? Um... Right, good, I guess. Um, oh yeah, and the the uh, wind bow is not better than Adam's bow. How does that work? Maybe because of the strength and agility use required. That's it. All right. So how's this then? Yeah, I need agility six, and I've got four. But it's all I have, so... Well, I've got the, uh... Well, so yeah, use that. Alright, well, there's still people... Oh, it's just a... Pouring out of there. Um... Go and check out what this is over here. Well done, Tinker, you did awesome. Ooh. Alright. It's obviously something you're meant to find. Okay. Alright. That's a bit of a clue, the fact that they, that appeared here. Oh, don't put that up. Um, that's A, isn't it? Treat Samuel, no. Find linen is area B, which is massive. <clears throat> but if that's lit up with this here torch, so maybe the other areas are as well. Well, I found something. It wasn't really... Whoa, hello. So Marigold... Oh, really? I need to find... Well, this, this, this is also good. No, no, no. Not, not the dog. Although, your dog did well. Get out the way, Tinker. Get out the way, Tinker. What? Okay, fine. Oh, yeah, I can't take this. Brilliant. Alright, so there's, there's, a, there's a good bunch of Marigold here. And now I know what it looks like, so good. Good, um, progress. Yeah, you gotta get right at the, the, um, root. Alright, well now I know what I'm looking for. Let's see about where it's kind of growing. Near some rocks, is that a bit of a clue? Ooh, hello. Oh. It's going to be a problem when Henry gets a dog. Am I might trying to loot and like the dog's just right in the way? Out the way. Pretty sure I can take this. There. I didn't know whether deselecting the...
torch mod there or not. I guess it didn't. All right, this is good. Good progress. Good, 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 good. Not so good for you. All right, so it's all in one place. It's all right at the edge of the uh, area. How much have we got now? Seven, eight, maybe nine. So it was just a matter of finding this place, wasn't it? So you've got to be drawn towards the light. Got to be around here somewhere, hasn't it? It's just the guy I just killed. Seems to like growing near rocks, but I'm out of the area where it should be now, aren't I? We go in this direction first. <clears throat> don't do this game. Don't don't do this. Don't give me one more I'm gonna find. That would be really quite annoying. And probably even though I found one lot of linen, there it is. Just going to use bandages, because I don't use bandages that much anyway. Superb. Right then. Next is... Well, um, like I say, we can use uh, actual bandages for that. I need to find water, and that's D. And D is actually in the mine, I believe. Some in the mine. So we'll head back up to where Samuel is. We'll put a, a torch away in case there's anyone around. I wonder what, like, you know, when when Teresa's telling the story to Henry, how, how that would went. It's like, well, you know, I tried to find some marigold and I wandered around for ages and I had to seek a... Uh, sorry, Tinker Seek, and he found a Groshen in a, in a bird's nest, which I tried to shoot down. I was like, is she going to really say all that? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's now lovely and dark around here because there are no cumins around. Hopefully it's not too dark for you guys, but I didn't get any um, complaints last episode. Normally if people are going to Comment, they're going to complain about something. So, uh, I need to go back here. Uh, don't be freaked out by the. Go get up there. Yeah, ignore the music. Ignore the music of death. Alright, so we're back, I think. Close around here, isn't it? Maybe up this rise. I am going the wrong way. I am going the wrong way. If I had a pound for every time I'd said that, I'd probably have about 100 pounds. <clears throat> I do wonder like, how often I actually say that. Okay. Samuel's... I if I could actually find the dude. Where is he? It's outside the mine, but I mean, this isn't. Maybe it is up here. I think it will be if I just ignore what it says on the uh, compass and map and such and just uh, go uphill that's where the mine will be right yeah I think I'm going straight there
Okay. That was lucky. Seen something ruined up there. Going too far north now, though. Yeah, this isn't where he is. Oh, doing cries for help. Okay. All right, I got that. Did I get it, or did I just not take it? some bandages for you. I, I, I can't go on. Help me, please. Oh boy. I don't think she'd be able to do it, you know. I don't think it's in her at this, at this juncture. Even though it's probably the right thing to do, I just don't think it's uh, something she would do. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I don't think she'd be able to. She's probably... S They're only going to find him though, aren't they? And they might make him, they might hurt him more. Oh, but now I can't change my mind, can I? No, 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 no. All right, fine. I'll just go with it. I could just shoot him in the head. Where is he? I can't take it. The pain. So the dog in him is not going to be a great thing, though, is it? Yeah, let's um, shoot him in the head. I don't think I got any XP for that or anything, but probably shouldn't have, really. I mean, unarmored. Immobile target. <clears throat> Crying out to die. I don't get XP for that game. Come on. Alright, so I've got to linen now, inadvertently. Now all I need to do is find where the hell Samuel is. Because I don't want to follow this. No, it might be where I need to be, thinking about it. I thought it would lead to uh, like where it is in terms of the Overland map, which I think it does. But it's right under me now. So I need to find the entrance to the cave, and that is where Samuel is. I can't find Samuel. Isn't that just dandy? Yeah, now I'm on this road again, going back down there. Right, let's, let's go down there. I mean, it does say that Samuel's down here. Let's trust it. Yeah, maybe just like up here. He's down there, I don't know. Yeah, there's a scavenger there. Okay, this is looking helpful. Right, okay, good. So he's, he's where it he says, right. So now I'll go in here to get your water. 
You stay there, Tinker. You just guard him. So there's a lot of Kumans. Just, um... Roaming around. Outside. I can't really see one being in here, though. Don't need a bucket for it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, unless they make it some sort of labyrinth. Ah, okay. I got water. Okay. Good! So now we have everything. We can now help our brother. Don't worry, Tinker, I'm coming back. I'm a coming back. Sammy, wake up. Sammy? Sammy, wake up. Wake up. No, Samuel. None of that. You wake up right now. All this death. Tinker, what are we going to do? Do you think anyone survived in the village? Maybe at the castle? Hmm. <laughs> Unlikely. Although we might meet someone there. Yeah, I was pretty sure... Oh, Tinker, it... heal! What is it? Did you find something, boy? I was pretty sure I didn't remember a Sammy. Um, that was well done, though. That was really well done. And yeah, she did all that she could. 
you know, and gave him the best comfort that uh, was possible in the uh, circumstances. Except maybe, you know, I moved him inside out the rain. Apart from that. What have you found, Tinker? Hmm. I wonder what scent he's found. I kind of know where this is going. You know, having played Henry's story and all, obviously. Um, the question is, how do we get there? Hey, is anybody there? Anybody there? Hold up! What happened? Why are you shouting here? You'll bring those heathens. I I have to get out of here and find the others, warn them. You're injured. Can I do anything to help? Something's wrong with my leg. I twisted it when I fell. And I managed to limp here to this path. But now I'm all done in. How did you survive the attack? I hit at the top of the hill and stayed there. Until it got dark and the screaming stopped. The whole of Skelets was in flames. I know. I, know. I saw it too. I wanted to go to Talmberg to warn them, but... When I was climbing down in the dark, I lost my footing and went rolling down like a sack of charcoal. I, I'm black and blue all over. Hmm. Let me have a look at that leg. Maybe I can manage to set it. Oh, all right. But please, be careful. Hmm. It seems you were lucky. It doesn't look like anything is broken. If there was, the skin would be turning blue by now. Keep that leg raised for a while. And when you go, try not to put too much weight on it. Find a branch or a stick to lean on. All right. Thanks. I reckon I can manage to get up now. But would you help me as far as the road? The going will be easier there. There's a stick right there. I'll help you. Lean on me. Oh. I'll manage it from here, but which way should I go? Go to Tomberg, like the others, and tell them what happened here and to send help. All right. I won't forget your kindness, but what are you going to do now? I'll go to the castle to see if anyone survived there. If you're not afraid to go there, you could look around the small holdings near Skelets or the mine works. People took cover wherever they could when the raid started. May God watch over you, Teresa. Thanks very much. Well done, Tinker. Well done. Alright. Still a little uh, bit to do, though, eh? Alright, we'll go to B first. We'll find out if anyone survived near the works. So it's probably best to go on this road. Past our house. It's going to be tricky. Not going to be easy. I wonder if there's any uh, cumin still about, if they all have moved on by now. Looters may have already moved in. I'll have to keep a watch for that, but... It seems only right that we do go home. I don't think that she wouldn't. Well, at least there are no more weeds. Yeah, we 
absolutely fine for energy and nourishment. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but I guess we're just not really hungry right now. This is our house. What's left of it? I can't believe it. Such devastation. Why? Pa, if you can see me now, I'm sorry. So sorry. See if he's got anything. Give my love to Ma. Alright, we're not gonna. I thought it might have some heirloom or something. Uh, do you mind? Stevor, you stood up to them. You were always the brave one. I'll come back and bury you in hallowed ground. Like you deserve. That was worth doing. All right, the works. Should be approaching them round about now. Is that a good place to go? Be able to see if there's anyone down there. Or up there. But of course, if, uh, you know, we can see them, they'll be able to see us. Probably an enemy, but I'm going to just assume that it isn't. Which is a mistake, yeah. right? At least he doesn't have any armor on. I know this I have a lot of practice at being a backpedaling archer. Deserter? Oh, my arrow's back. He's got some wine, we might need that. Some bacon. To heal, Tinker. Come here, you. You've earned this. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Yeah, that work. Thought it might. Given the command over there. To attack with a dog. Why would that be? Your Miller, <clears throat> what are you doing here? How come you didn't flee like the others? I can't. There's one of those bastards creeping around out there. Hmm. What? Where did you see him? The army has pulled out and moved on. He must be a deserter. He keeps looking around here for what he can steal, and he looked like he was pretty drunk. You must help me. You've got to get rid of him. Otherwise, I'll die here. I mean, we could we could have like taken him you know together. Anyway, you've nothing to fear. I dealt with that deserter. Well done, oh, Teresa. Thank God. I thought I'd never get away from here alive. Thanks, Teresa. If you hadn't turned up, I'd be done for, for sure. That's all right. Go to Tomberg and tell the people there what's happened. I'll have a look around for other survivors. Good. Do that as well. <laughs> oh, and that. All right, moving on that. <laughs> now we're loading down with booze. All right, well, all this armor and stuff we can't have, so. Oh, 
Fine, we'll wear the stupid festive dress. He was kind of wearing this though in the cutscene for Kenry, so I kind of want to uh, keep it at that. Alright. Um, so we can do this next, the woodcutter's camp, maybe. No, let's go around here and go up into the woods. Look by the woods. Alright. Yeah, since there's not many of them. Scarlet's was an extensive place. It's a good place to hold a, a DLC because of that. Let's see if we can get into this. No one's going to need it now, are they? Tease! That bacon make you thirsty? Gonna find what we can. Hmm. Well, no, just the one. You never know. They might need a spade. We can sleep and save here. So we can't. <laughs> sleep and save? Well, ah, uh, 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 no, no, no. Worry about this, you know. Going near the woods. Very good place for deserters to hide out. Arrows would be good. How many arrows have we got? So we've only got four. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit worrying. That's what I'm really looking for. That's what I'm hoping to find. I can hear something. Somewhere. Pavlena. She got lost when we were running in the night. It's still not safe here. Shouting like that is asking for trouble. But I have to find her. I can't leave without her. Will you help me? <laughs> you should keep your voice down. 
There could still be cutthroats within earshot. But... But I've got to find... Okay, Pamela. we get it. I've got to help her. Where did you see her last? In the woods here. We were hiding from those demons. I didn't think they'd come here, but when it was getting dark, they found us. They came upon us from behind. I think we surprised them as much as they did us. We started to run, and it was horrible. One arrow missed me by a hair. I thought I was done for. I ran and ran, and then I found myself alone. I lost those bastards, but Avlena too. I have to find her. <sighs> What was Pavlina wearing? The same as always. A blue dress and she had a scarf on her head. <laughs> Lucky I didn't put that one on. She just thought it was me. Um. Alright, well I'll put... Alright. I mean, um... Seems fairly hopeless, doesn't it? But, uh... Well... You never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, well, that was, uh... So it was quick. This must be that Pavlina that Maros was looking for. Dead. I should go and tell him. Can I take the arrow? Yeah, that's like right... Practically through the heart, I think, so... Nice. Kind of expected that outcome, but you never know, and at least now we'll shut him up. Any more arrows? You didn't look very far, did you, to be fair? I mean, she's like well, 30 yards that way. Where are you? If that, shut up, shut up, shut up! About Pavlina. I found her. You did? Where? Why isn't she with you? I'm sorry, but... She's dead. They must have caught up with her when they were chasing you. Oh, no, no, no. My Pavlina. I should never have left her like that. I thought... I thought she was right behind me. Jesus, what am I going to do? You should flee. And save yourself, at least. I... I don't know what to do now. Where can I go? Go to Tomberg and tell them everything. Sir Divish will send help and... And then we'll come back and bury our loved ones. I promise. All right. What about you? I'll keep looking around for other survivors. If I had half your courage, Pavlena might still be alive. Oh god. Take this. Maybe you'll come across someone who needs it. God be with you. Oh, bandages. Ah. Oh. Bent arrows. Okay, well. Uh... This one next, so down here, past the archery range. Stop drinking out of every single puddle. Might not be full of rainwater. Alright, where am I going? Alright, that's the right direction. Sweet. I, I just assume that I go the wrong way, so I shouldn't. There's a compass, but I'm just like, nope, no, it's definitely the wrong way. No, I, I've, 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 I've made two steps in one direction. I must be going the wrong way. Must be some way, some way to keep in rhythm for chopping wood or something. 
we know what that is, but yeah, it'll be something like that, won't it? Timekeeping device. Alright, next. Yep, this guy. Well, no, Julian, is it you? Don't be afraid. It's me, Teresa. Are you all right? Everywhere, they're everywhere. Where is it? Where is it? Uh. He's obviously a little adult, so at least it's not counting down. Listen to me, and listen well. A short while ago, they killed my little brother. And before that, Pa and Stebor. I'm not going to let anyone else get killed if I can help it. So for Christ's sake, pull yourself together and get out of here before I slap some sense into you. I can't. That failed? They're everywhere. I can't go without it. You asked for it, Julian. <sighs> Where's what? I don't understand you. Cutter. Woodcutter. They're everywhere. I need it. Oh God. You're one of the woodcutters, aren't you? Yes. Yes. Cutter. Where is it? Quick. They're everywhere. Julian, you're not making any sense. I'm going to ask him, but I'm not going to get anything out of him, am I? What happened here? Did anyone else survive? They came. From everywhere, everywhere. Where is it? How did you survive? You were left here amongst... Amongst all these bodies? Everywhere. Hmm. Gonna mess him up. This is hopeless. How am I going to get through to you? Yeah, he needs his cutter. Where's his axe? <laughs> yeah, again, didn't look very far. Look, look at Julian, pull yourself together. Here's your axe. That's what you were looking for, right? Now you'll be safe. Cutter! Yes! My cutter! Good, Julian. And now, get to Tomberg. The others are already on the way there. Run like the devil and don't look back. Tomberg! Yes! Wouldn't be half surprised if he attacked me after he got it. Good. Alright, he's gone. Always in one. And then up to the uh, Potter's Swell Holding. This is good. I mean, it's... I hesitate to say that I'm enjoying this, you know, because it's it's really heavy. I mean, uh... It doesn't get much more heavy than this in games, really, does it? But it's really well done. Like, the, the whole environment, the whole feel of the game. Uh, the people you meet and everything, just just so much work's gone into it, and it's been so, so good, really. Very immersive. What won't be, is if I die. <laughs> so... <laughs> I think I is going to have a save, even though I only have one. I would absolutely hate to die here for whatever reason and have to do everything again. 
was locked in. Fuck it. But. Master Potter? What in the name of God are you doing here? I tried to get into my goddamn house. What for? You ought to flee like everyone else. I've got coin hidden there. I'm not going to just walk off and leave it. Listen, maybe you could help me. I've heard you mill people know how to... how to deal with these kind of things. I have never unlocked a lock in my life. How... How, how could you even say this? What are you implying? That I'm a thief? Come now. Don't play the innocent. We all know your father is no saint. You must have learned some secrets of the trade from him, no? My father is dead. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, lass. Uh, I didn't know. I'm sorry. It's still not safe here. Coin is no use to a dead man. You ought to flee to Tomberg while you can. And leave my life savings to pillagers and footpaths? And me? Not a chance. Fine. Why can't you unlock the door? Don't you have the key? Of course I do. That is, I did, but I lost it. I was bringing firewood from the woods. Just as I got to the footbridge, I saw that huge army. I dropped everything and ran home as fast as I could. I must have dropped that blasted key on the way. How did you manage to survive? I hid out on top of the A stack until morning. Those Edens were sniffing around, but something disturbed them and they ran to the village. All right. I'll try and get that coin for you, but I can't promise anything. Where is it hidden? This damn door is as solid as a rock. All right. Once you get inside, go to the pantry on the left. There's a sack of apples in there, and the purse is hidden right at the bottom of it. Get it? And bring it to me. Meanwhile, I'll keep watch here. Gonna move out the way so I can pick the lock. Fuck it. It won't budge. Is there another way in? Have you moved? Okay, good. Well, I've never done this before, Mr. Potter, so you're just gonna have to, uh... Let's hope that I managed to fluke it. Oh, did you look at that? I don't know why I really have to um, then go in and get the stuff. I can't remember where he said, but I know I'm looking for some apples or something. Sleep and save, not allowed. Full of grosh in here, and a pretty heavy one, too. Oh, I swear I don't have anything. Cut the horseshit, strip off, and shake out those clothes. And if I don't hear the jingle of coin, there'll be hell to pay. I could just God leave sake. now. Isn't it enough that we have foreign cutthroats descended on us without being robbed by our own people? Shut the fuck up and get on with it. I think I know this is gonna go. What is going on here? What kind of man are you to rob poor souls who have already lost everything to those devils? Shut up and keep your high and mighty preaching to yourself. Hand over the coin or I'll cut you down, both of you. I'm telling you, I've already been robbed of everything. Tell him, Teresa. We've nothing left but our lives. You won't even have that much if I find out you're lying to me. <clears throat> You're just battering me now. We can do this. There's two of us and only one of you, fella. Best turn around and be on your way. <laughs> I'm quaking in my boots. Poor little me against the strip of a girl and a mangy old granddad. And a dog. Don't forget the dog. 
Oh yeah. Strip of a girl. Oh yeah, let's loot the looter. Let's loot the looter. Come on, right between the eyes. Booyah. That's nice, that's nice, that's nice. Alright, let's loot the looter. There we go. Oh, that was sweet. Oh, hang on, what's this? Spike Club? Maybe I can use that. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome, that was, gonna say. That felt good. I can use that. So. Let's right, put everything away. I'll do. My God Almighty! With all the horror that's going on, he wouldn't have thought twice about killing us on account of money. People can be swine. They see a corpse and come swooping down like carrion crows. You shouldn't feel bad about it. I don't. He got what he deserved. Take the money. Take it and go to Tomberg. Warn them there and tell them to send help. I'll have a look around the village for survivors. I'll do that. Take care of yourself, Teresa. Good. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> Alright, um... Yeah, what me? Oh. Who's to have left? This is like so bad. It's just like, how dare you try and rob everyone? And you never know, right? I've played a lot of RPGs. I'll just take that as a payment for uh, what we've just done. Right, well, that's where we're going next. get in there I think feels like we're coming to the end of this now I don't know if that's true but, you know, now that we're in here... It saved itself. Go 
discussion with your family. I've had just about enough of you. Hey, go fuckers! Hmm. That's, uh... I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. You've been through it yourself. I know you understand. Oh, why Tinker have to die? I thought how the dog would heal be Tinker. Ah, oh, boy. There's something else I'd like to ask. All right, yeah, let's finish this. Let's do all this. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff there, isn't there? Did you go back to Skelets again? To bury your pa and your brothers? Yes, along with some more of our neighbours. We had an escort from the Latai garrison, with Sir Hanish's kind permission. Where are they buried? Sammy's buried near the mines. He didn't like the mines. But his grave is on the hill, where I used to meet him for lunch. He loved it there. I know it's not consecrated ground. But what could I do? God will understand. I buried Ma and Pa under the linden tree by our house. It's what they would have wanted. Yes. Father and Stebo are buried in the churchyard in Rovna. Once things settle, we'll be able to go back and pay our respects. And get the priest to bless their graves. Going back to help the survivors. That was very brave of you. When I went back to Scalitz, I met no one but footpads and cutthroats. If you hadn't come along... I doubt I'd be here to tell the tale. You know what our parish priest always used to say? Without Christian charity, we'd all soon be dead. I couldn't just leave you all to your fate, could I? Any good Christian would have done the same. Well, I'm not so sure. Not everyone has your courage. Yeah, she pretty much lost everything, hasn't she? She was ready to die at that point. So that whole charge at the end, completely unplanned. Remember how we were sword fighting together? The next morning, Ma scolded me on account of that scratch on my hand. Oh dear, <laughs> sorry mm. about that. Ah, uh, it's all water under the bridge now. I never told her it was you who did it. I just wish you could have covered my back too. She was angry that I was at sword training instead of working in the forge. And she said you told her. <laughs> Your pa and Stebor were really stealing from the royal mines. Jesus, I don't think even Fritz and Matthew would take that kind of chance. And there's not much that pair won't do for an easy groschen. Yeah, in a way I can understand that Pa did it for us, but it was really irresponsible. You won't tell anyone, will you? I won't, I promise. 
So what happened to the silver? Pa handed it over, as always, to that slimy fellow, and he took it away. What happened to it then, I don't know. Hmm. Well, we might have an idea, but... That's all done now. Your pa really wanted to marry you off to Master Tobias? Yes. Can you believe it? And... Have you spoken to Master Fayfar since... Since the raid? I haven't. Either he's lost interest, or he's forgotten about me. Not that I'm complaining. Uncle Peshek would be happy to marry me off too. Especially if there was something in it for him. I'm glad that's in the past. Aye. I don't blame you. So Johanka and Matthias finally got together. Well, if it hadn't been for everything that happened afterwards, who knows? They could be headed for the altar. But that little intrigue with the dice... I never thought you'd stoop to stealing. It was all in a good cause. Johanka would never have plucked up the courage to talk to him otherwise. And in the end, her harebrained scheme actually worked. Who knows? Maybe the two of them will get together again. Bianca told me something about your little expedition to the woods. Hmm. Yeah, he did. She was flaunting that ring all day. I was worried for a while that she had some other suitor who gave it to her. No, no. Unless you can count a magpie. Who do you want Bianca as well? told me something. You really ran into a wolf. I thought Bianca must have been imagining things. Not exactly. It was actually a wild dog, but... Pa used to say those are even worse than wolves. It's a good thing you were there with Bianca. Yes, it was. I have no more questions. Your Honor. Thank you for telling me about everything, Teresa. I know it isn't easy to talk about. It helped to talk to someone who knows what it's like. Thank you. I'm glad you came out of it in one piece. Yeah, so am I. And I'm glad you did too. By the way, Henry, I have something for you. The soldiers gave it to me when we brought you from Skalitz. I meant to give it to you earlier, but, you know, it belonged to one of the Skalitz garrison. They wanted me to have it for being brave, but I hope I'll never have use for such a thing. Oh? How come? What is it? It's a shield with the Skalitz crest. I'd like you to have it. To protect you, and as a keepsake from home. Sure. Thanks, Teresa. Thanks for everything. That's good. Yeah, that was good. And I think, like, Teresa's character needed that. There was a big sort of, like, blank area about what she'd been up to, how she'd survived and everything. So that was a well worthwhile DLC. You know, a lot of DLCs are sort of, like, tacked on and not really worth it or just for fun, but I think that one... It's, it's really up there for uh, flushing out a character and uh, giving like a new perspective on things. So very, very, very good. And now we're back in uh, Henry's shoes. Skelet shield. I'm now, of course, all over encumbered. Um, so let's see. So heavy shield. I really should wear it anyway, shouldn't I? But uh, let's have a look regardless. Looks like it's better. And that's good. May the colours of your hometown bring courage to you, to your heart, wherever you go. Remind you from whence you came. I don't think we can ever forget it. Alright everyone, that is it for this episode. Next time we're back in uh, Henry's shoes, as I just said, or his armour-plated boots. And, uh, well, who knows? I've kind of forgotten about what he was doing. But uh, we'll get on with that. Until then... Thank you very much for watching. Did enjoy that. And uh, thank you, Teresa, for sharing your story. Did enjoy it. Thanks very much, everyone. Doodle him. <laughs>